Kentuckians are still cleaning up from the devastating tornadoes that hit the heartland earlier this month. The current forecast doesn't look good with more storms expected across the south for New Year's Day. That could possibly slow or even complicate the recovery process. Right now, Nina Phelps joins us. She's with the Storm Ready Group and is in Kentucky. She's the representative there for the United Cajun Navy. Nina, you've helped the residents there in Louisiana following Hurricane Ida, only to come back to your own home state in Kentucky to yet another disaster. Tell us how it's gone so far. Um, the recovery efforts here have been nothing short of amazing. The community and the efforts that it has brought together has has blown me away just as quick as the tornado left here and blew this town away. The humanity that it's brought in, um, the volunteers, the supplies, just the teamwork and the efforts that it's taken and should have taken to get this done has, has really saved two or three weeks worth of time already with just the volunteers and the nonprofit networks. It's great to see so many people coming together to help out, and there's so much work that needs to be done. Can you also talk a little bit about your experience with the Ida recovery efforts and working with the United Cajun Navy as well? Such great work. The United Cajun Navy um, has done amazing things, but when I got with them with Hurricane Ida, it was, again, one of those things that I didn't know I was getting into. Their, their ability to do things is far superior than anything I've ever seen to get fan boats, to get this network their network group to be able to come together so quickly. The United Cajun Navy, just the things they did, about 100,000 people, the supplies they got all the way down to the lowest parts of the bayou that we weren't even accessible to get the fan boats in, to get the people out, to get the food on those fan boats, just to get it to the people that didn't even have food or supplies. Um, I can't begin to say how proud I was just to be a part of that entire effort and the entire relief with that entire situation. And just that portion with the United Cajun Navy my storm ready group efforts that come after with the rebuild and stuff that we're still doing. We still have teams in Louisiana helping out down there for the storm ready group, but I can't tell you all in one sentence what it is that the United Cajun Navy can do when it comes to a disaster relief. And Nina, when you start this cleanup process, no matter where you are, there's mm -hmm. always people on edge sort of looking at the clouds that move in. We've got rain in the forecast, severe weather's not that far away. How will that impact the cleanup? I mean, I can imagine that just sort of the, the mental component to the threat of severe weather so close by definitely has people on edge. It does, um, especially when people are already on edge. They were on edge because of the holiday. That just puts people on edge, and then you get hit with a tornado, and it blows all of that out, and then you look for people. And then when these people just come in and they say one thing, and then they're gone, they don't know what to do. It's the people that have stayed here consistently, the first responders that have showed up, the people that have dedicated for volunteer efforts. All of those things on a consistent basis is really what it's going to take to help Dawson Creek, Hopkins County, Mayfield, all the way down to Tennessee. The four, the four states that got hit with this tornado, it's, it's going to take more volunteers, more of everything to be able to subside what anxiety holds inside this entire situation. Nina Phelps, thanks to your organization for helping them get just one step closer to this recovery process. We thank you for your time today. Craig? Thank you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.